In this video, I'm going to show you how you can automate the backup of ArcGIS Enterprise following the steps in this Esri community document. Within this document, there are a couple zip files, uh, one for the 1071 version of Enterprise and another one that is used for the 1081 version of Enterprise. The 1081 version will work with 1091 as well as 11 as well. Um, within the zip files, there are two files like within them. I've extracted that as a file to this location here. One of the files is a Windows batch file and another one is a Python script. Before jumping into those, I just want to take a look at the prerequisites for this. Back in the document, you'll see that there is a Python date util module that is required to run this script. Now what this script will do is actually allow you to specify a data retention variable to keep previous backups. For example, you can keep three days worth of backups, seven days, etc. To do that, what the script does is actually parse the name of the backup file and parses that text for the date and uses that to remove versions of the backup that are older than the specific date. With Portal for ArcGIS, if that is installed on its own server with no other ArcGIS applications, the Date Util module is not included with the Python environment for Portal. Uh, if you have, say, for example, ArcGIS Pro installed on the same server as Portal, you can skip these next steps for the prerequisites as you could use the Pro's Python environment, which has that Date Util module to execute the script. In this example here, I'm going to demonstrate as a Portal is just installed on its own server with no other ArcGIS application, so I need to get that Date Util module. So following the steps here, you can see that there is a URL and this URL is going to be for some code to get a file called a git pip. And that will allow us to download other modules. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this link here in another tab. Here you can see there's some Python code. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna paste this into a text editor of my choice. So in this example, I'm gonna use notepad++. And since I am going to save this file to the program files, I'm going I'm going to need administrative direct privileges to save this file. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on my Notepad++, run as administrator. And I can go ahead and paste in that text there. So following the document, I am to save this to Portal's Python directory. The default location is the C program files, ArcGIS portal, etc. I did install it to this location, so I'm going to go ahead and just copy this path here. And then in File Explorer, and then, excuse me, in Text Editor, I can go ahead and save this, specify my path, and the name, get pip.py. Now that I have that, I can actually run a command to install that the util module. So here is the command that I can actually run. To run that command, I need to open up a command prompt and navigate to portals Python directory, which was that same location as I just mentioned. So I'm gonna open up a command prompt as an administrator again. Right click, run as administrator. CD, do this location. I can go ahead and run that command. So I have the get python get pip.py. So I'll go ahead and paste that in, execute that. And what this will do is install that get pip module, which will allow me to grab other modules and install them locally. So we'll give us a minute to go ahead and execute. Went ahead and installed that, perfect. Um, so now I can actually execute a pip command to get that date util module. So here, what I'm gonna do is I need to go to a directory that was just created called scripts that's in the Python environment. There's just one directory down. So here I'm just going to go to CD scripts. Then I can run this command here, pip install, and then the name of the module. So successfully installed that module. Now that I have that module, I can successfully and execute the script. Before doing so, there is a WebGSDR properties file that you need to update. 
Uh, there's a great help document here on how to update the parameters. I'll quickly just go through the file that I've updated. So just to show you where this file is located initially, it's under your C program files, ArcJS portal, and then you'll see the tools, and then there's a WebGSDR directory here that contains this WebGSDR DR properties file. I've copied that to my backups, ArcGIS Enterprise location, and I can edit this with Notepad++. And just to kind of quickly go through this, I updated the portal admin URL. So here I've went ahead and just specified my URL to portal. I have my portal username and password. This was in clear text previously. Um, this was also set to false previously. Um, once you run the script and which will execute the WebGIS DR, it will encrypt this password for you and change this to true. So this is an encrypted password for it. The backup restore mode, I want a full backup. And then the shared location. So this is just a local location on disk. This my C backups ArcGIS Enterprise. I don't have the tile cache installed, so I'm setting this to false for the include scene tile caches. Um, it is, I'm saving this to disk, so this is going to be a file system. Other options are Amazon and Azure. And finally, the backup location, which I'm just specifying the same as my shared location. Now, one thing to note is the backup location and shared location should have access. The users that should have access to this are the users the user that you're logged into portal as that's going to be running the script should have full privileges, full control of those directories, as well as the account that's running the portal for ArcGIS service. And what I mean by that, if I go to my Windows services, just take a look at my portal application, you'll see the account that's running that. So here is portal. And you can see I have a local ArcGIS account that's created. So this local account should have full control over that shared and backup location directory. Now that I have the WebGIS DR updated, I can jump back to the steps here. Um, I'm then ready to update the WebGIS DR script. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to my script. And again, you can open this in the IDE, uh, even in text editor. I'm going to stick with Notepad. Uh, so there's a, a f just a few variables that you need to update. This should be the only section you have to update. The first one is the backup directory. So this should be the same location that you specified in your WebGIS DR. So here is that location here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. Next is the previous backup. So based on the number of days to retain the previous backups, it will move previous backups to this location and it will delete anything older than the number of days. So say right now I just have it set to two, any backups older than two, it will go ahead and delete. And I'll get that date by parsing the name of the file. So here you can see, for example, here is a backup that I ran yesterday. It has yesterday's date in it. And it will go ahead, the script will deconstruct this to a date and then check to see if it's older than the number of days to retain the backup. This previous directory will need to cr be created if it doesn't exist. So I went ahead and created that. And I went ahead and specified as my previous backup location. Next is just my location to the bat file. I'm just going to hold my shift key, right click on that, and choose the copy as path. And that will copy within quotations. And then number of days I want to go ahead and maintain. So I want to up this to say seven days. I want to keep a week's worth of backups. I want to run this nightly. So this script will actually go through. It'll move any backups to the previous, check to see if they're older than the number of days retain it. If it is, we'll delete it. And then I'll execute the WebGIS DR back, batch file. So I'm going to go ahead, save this. The last step is what I need to do is update the batch file. Jump here, edit this again with Notepad++. So here, there's just a couple directory, or excuse me, lines of code that you need to update. Um, this is just going to be the location of where my WebGIS DR utility is. So that was just under my program files, arches, portal, tools, etc. the default location under the C drive. 
And then next is I need to run the command in WebGSDR. And I'm going to export, and I just need to update the file location of where that WebGSDR properties is. So I'm just going to, again, hold my shift key, right click, copy this path, and we'll update this path here. Keeping the quotations is fine. I'll go ahead and save this. So that is saved. And what I can do now is I can execute the script. So steps for that is I need to navigate to Portal's Python environment. So I want to open up a command prompt as administrator, which I've already done. So this command prompt is open as an admin on that. I'm going to go back one directory. I'm just going to CD back one directory. So I'm in Portal's Python environment. And then I can just enter the word Python. And then the path to my script. So again, holding my shift key, I want to right click, copy his path, and paste that in. I go ahead and execute this. I'll go through and start the WebGSDR utility. Start creating my backup. As you can see, it moved the previous backup to this previous directory. And it's starting to create the new backup here. So we'll just give that some time to finish. It will all depend on how long it takes, depending on how much content you have within your ArcGIS Enterprise environment. So we'll let that run its course. Okay, so the WebGSDR is finished. You can see here, it created the backup successfully. Now the last step is, referring to the document, we can set up Windows Task Editor to execute the Python script on a scheduled basis. So to do this, I'm just going to go from a start and search for task scheduler. Open this up, and then we can go ahead and create a task to execute that same script. So here's my create task option. You can specify a name. You can choose whether to run whether the user's logged in or not. So even if I'm signed out, it will go ahead Log that in, can run with the highest privileges. Use my server. And then my trigger is here. So I can go ahead and click new. Then I can choose on the schedule and choose the one I would like to schedule this. So I'm going to choose daily. And we can say we'll do it every night, starting at midnight. Okay, here, go to my actions. Click new. I want to browse to my Python executable, my portal environment. So we're going to browse to that. Again, I have my portal environment here. Here's my Python environment. My portal install. Just go ahead and copy that. And we're going to select the Python executable. And my argument is going to be the path to my script. So jump it back to File Explorer. I'm going to hold my Shift key again, right click, copy this path. Paste that in. Click OK. <laughs> and then OK again. And then I just need to specify my password. there. And now I have my scheduled task, as we can see here. Every night this will execute at midnight, move the previous backup to the previous directory, search for anything greater than seven days, and delete it from that directory if need be. That's all I have for today.